What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're up and early this morning out here in the Gulf Coast. I'm really excited about today's video because we're doing something that I have wanted to do for a long time. And we're actually taking the kayaks out here in this little bay area. And I say we're taking the kayaks, not our kayaks. We're here with the one and only legendary Perdido Blaine. <laughs> this is the man for kayak fishing in this part of the country. Dude, how are you this morning? I'm good, brother man. I'm glad you met me out here. Yeah, I'm Jack. So why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself and what you do out here before we take off and go try to catch some big reds, some specs. Yeah, man, Blaine Roberts, um, known around these parts as Perdido Blaine. Uh, YouTube channel, I do a lot of guiding in the area. Kayak guides and surf fishing guides. I also do some overnight primitive kayak camping, Ooh. which is super cool. So if you guys are ever in the area, you guys want to get on some reds, some trout, Go catch some pompano in the surf. You guys can find all my information, Perdido Blaine, um, Facebook, Instagram. The website is perditoblaine.com and YouTube is Perdido Blaine. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, we will definitely have all of his information linked down in the video description for you guys to check out. Really excited to go out here with him. We have great conditions, so without further ado, we're burning daylight, so we need to get out there and try to get on some fish. We're gonna try to catch them on some top water. You know how much we love top water. So <laughs> if y'all are excited for today's adventure, do, the, do us a favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for good luck, and uh, let's have a day of hopefully smashing That's some right fish. Alright, so so far no luck throwing top waters and swim baits in this first little area we were fishing. We're starting to troll up on to this little area up here in front of me. There's a little bit deeper water. Um, the water is really clear. We haven't really seen any bait fish, haven't seen any fish swimming around. So really, this game is all about just finding the fish and finding out where they're holding. And once we get around to them, we should be able to make some bite. We have plenty of time to fish, so I'm sure we'll find some in just a minute. We're going to keep trolling around and hopefully we get on them. Fish on, fish on, what is that? Fish on, is that a flounder? Oh my gosh, I think I got a flounder. Oh, it's a flounder. Get up here. Yes, sir. There we go, guys. It's been a while. We just hooked up with our first fish and it's a flounder. Never caught a flounder before. Heck yeah, I thought I had a rock for a second. So take a look at that right there. We've been out here for about two hours just kind of patrolling these shallow flats areas. Got this little gut right here. It's a little bit deeper. It's been really shallow and I honestly haven't seen any sign of life. I haven't seen any fish moving around. But like I said, just moved out here to this little bit deeper water and this was like my second cast out there. And we got ourselves a nice little flounder, a little flat boy. How cool is that? And it's cool. Oh. And what's cool is that we got them on my favorite swim bait, the little Sixth Sense Divine swim bait. These guys got teeth. They're kind of hard to grab a hold of. There you go, nice little flounder to start off the day. I'm not sure what the uh, what the legal limit size is right now on flounder. I don't even know if they're in season. I think I heard someone say they're not in season. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this one go. He's not very big, but that is an awesome way to start off this kayak fishing adventure out here in the Gulf, out here in Perdido Key. We're gonna send him back. See you later, flat boy. Woo, he's gone. Like how does a fish like that even come up and eat your bait? I don't even know. I've always wondered that. Like, how does a flounder, with his body shape, come up and eat that swim bait? Anyways, that's awesome. We're gonna get back after it. Let's go catch another one.
Here we go, fish on. Fish on, big one. Big one, big one, big one. It's a red, it's a red, it's a red. There we go, baby. That's the fish we needed right there. It might be in the slot too. Oh, baby. Let's steer him out of here. Fish on, trout, or, oh, it's a red, it's a red, it's red. I almost said trout. Dude, I think this is a slot red. Holy crap, stay on there. Stay on there, guy. Stay on there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. I was beginning to lose hope. We've been out here for so long. It's been a long time since I caught that little flounder. Hooked up with a nice little red. Oh, he's beautiful, too. Here we go. Perdido Blaine's on the way with the net. Coming in for the scoop ski. He's tired. Don't blow it. <laughs> That's a slot, dude. That's a beautiful one. That's a Thanks, beauty. yeah. That's a beauty, bro. There we go. This is the fish we've been after all day long, all morning long. It's about four hours into the trip. Caught that little flounder to start things off. We paddled or pedaled and pedaled and pedaled around. We got in the back of this little lagoon area and uh, we got ourselves a nice little slot redfish. That is so sick. Bit the six cents divine swim bait. Made that swap to 3.2 inch size and that white color in this dingy water. And we got this beautiful rusty red, not a blemish on it, a perfect slot fish. Gonna be able to take this one home, share it with the family. Really, really, really excited about this. And there's definitely a chance, you know, if there's one here, there's probably some more. And we might can mosey around and catch another one around this grass. What you say, man? Yeah, man, let's <laughs> hit it. Fish on, fish on, fish on. I think it's a trout. I think it's a trout. Oh, good trout, dude. Good trout. Good trout. Good trout. I got the net. Good trout. Woo, baby! Yeah, son. There we go. Literally, what's my GoPro say? One minute after dealing with that redfish, we got a trout, it's probably a keeper. Not two minutes after landing that red and putting it in the ice chest, turned the corner a little bit more, threw the swim bait up in a little bit of weeds, ripped it out, and this guy was all over it. Look at the colors on this speckled trout. Looks like a leopard. Beautiful fish. I love how golden colored these fish are out here in the back of this lagoon, this kind of brackish water. It's super just golden water, and it's got these fish super colored up. Really, really beautiful and that is going to be a keeper, which is so sick. If that flounder was a little bit bigger this morning, we would have all three of them in the cooler. But uh, we just completed the inshore slam. How cool is that, guys? I don't know if there's anything left to catch out here. What else is out here we could catch? Some croakers. Croakers. <laughs> Some croakers. I actually think I had a croaker about to tell off my swim bait earlier. But um, yeah, I'm super stoked about this. We're gonna keep moseying around, maybe catch a couple more of these, maybe another red, maybe a bigger red. I don't care, we got some good fish today. It's crazy how you can go all day and you know have a short little moment like this and it turns the whole day around. So sick, just a beautiful fish. There we go, fish. Red, 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 red fish, red fish, red fish, red fish. Good red, good red. Oh, he came off. No. Oh, he came off. That was another slot red. No, that was another slot red, guys. I'm hooked up with something. It's so tiny, what is that? What the heck did I just catch? A little pinfish. Snagged him. He ate the tail off my bait. Very dog. So this again is what I've been throwing to catch these fish. Just a little six cents divine swim bait. It's the 3.2 inch version. I'm using the 1 8 ounce divine swim bait jig head. It's got that nice screw lock on there. And I am just biting the very tip of that swim bait off. I mean, just the very, very, very tip of it. And running it onto the hook and then locking it in place. Now I'm, I'm biting that tip off the end of this swim bait just because it'll mount flush with that head a little bit better. You can see it's got that flat kind of square edge to it. On the bigger swim baits, I don't really do it as often, but with these little ones, I like to do that all the time. And this color is platinum white. I'm using this brighter 
uh, more vibrant color here in the stained water to help these fish locate it a little bit better. When we first start off, I was using more of a uh, more natural, kind of sparkly, translucent color, but that right there has been the money back here thus far. All right, guys, well, that is all she wrote for us today out here in the bay. Had a great time. We covered a lot of water, like two, three, maybe even four miles of water, maybe more. I don't even know. I've kind of lost track of time out here. Um, but it was all worth it. We got three nice fish in the kayak today. Start off with that flounder, then followed up with that nice keeper redfish, and then got that nice trout right after. We fished around quite a bit more after that. Not much of luck. Um, Perdido. Blaine got himself a nice little speckled trout. I had a redfish hooked up for a moment, but you know, definitely can't complain with the results. Special thanks again to my man, Perdita Blaine. Be sure to check him out on all of his social media. We'll have it all linked down below in the video description, but we're gonna pack it in. I'm gonna get those fish back home to Jay and the fam, and uh, we're gonna clean them up. We're gonna eat them tonight. We'll see you there. Okay guys, we are back at it. It's actually quite late now. It's 10, 15 p.m. We've been going non-stop every day, it seems like, on this vacation, but we wouldn't have it any other way. Started today at 5.30, and now we're finishing at 10.15 by cleaning some of these fish that we caught today. Here's that slot redfish one more time. Beautiful fish, and then we followed it up with this really nice speckled trout. I've never had speckled trout at all. I've never had this before. I've had redfish. I think we both have had redfish, and um, we're excited to have this fresh fish, so I'm just going to clean them up really quick. Got this little knife I got at Walmart the other day. Hopefully it'll work really well on these guys. So let's get these guys cut up and uh, we'll have them nice and fresh to eat tomorrow for lunch and for supper. Okay, we made it to the moment we've all been waiting for, and that is lunchtime. We have our fresh redfish and speckled trout here in this bowl. Got them all filleted up, and we're really excited to eat them. Um, we're gonna be cooking them a couple of different ways. We've got um, some butter heating up in the skillet. We're gonna do the same thing we did, like we did with the, um, the pompano the other day, kind of blacken them a little bit, kind of season them up, but we're also planning on deep frying them a little bit, as well as with some Spanish mackerel that I actually caught off of the pier. Um, wasn't able to like really make a video out there though because the wind was just just smacking us right in the face. I know the audio and the quality was horrible, but we got a couple of Spanish mackerel. They're in here in this bowl. Got them all diced up. There's actually quite a few in there. I got like seven of them. So excited to try them out. I'm kind of iffy about it. I've heard mixed reviews on the Spanish, but we're gonna give those a try too. We're gonna fry them up and turn them into some little fish nuggets. So yeah, we're gonna get to this. Oh, also one thing that we have two different batters are going to be frying them up in. This is the famous Everglade seasoning. Everyone around here is like, you need to use Everglade seasoning. We've never used it. As far as I can remember, we haven't used it, right? Uh -uh. Never used Everglade seasoning. Then this is our old trusty Louisiana blue bag blend that we use all the time. And then to go with it, we're just going to bake some sweet potato fries in the oven. So should be good. Hoping it's good. If the Spanish mackerel are gross, then at least we have the redfish and speckled trout. So let's get to cooking them. Okay, so here on this plate, we have a piece of our speckled trout right here. And then we have a piece of our redfish. And these are the two that we're gonna be sampling with the Slap Your Mama blackened style. I've had redfish blackened in the restaurant, but never cooked it on my own. So I'm really excited about this. I wish we had more redfish that we could just really dig into. But um, this is gonna be a great little sampling. You know, hopefully encourage us to come back out here and do some more redfish fishing depending on how well it tastes. But anyway, it's got the butter all melted here in the skillet. Looking nice and good. And then all the rest of the fish we're just gonna be frying up. So here it goes, nothing. Here we go. Kind of sizzling a little bit. And then here's our redfish. Hopefully those pieces will be super delicious. While those are cooking, the oil is heating up for the fish we're gonna be deep frying and we'll probably throw some in there really, really soon. So the fish in our skillet is just about done, but our oil has heated up to a great temperature for frying. So we're gonna do our first batch of fried fish fillets. Here, this is the Everglades seasoning. And I think that's a piece of redfish. I honestly don't know at this point, but oh yeah. That is bumping, guys. 
This is definitely redfish. We're, gonna, we're just gonna say that the bigger, chunkier pieces are the redfish and the skinnier pieces like this are the speckled trout, unless it's the bottom of the filet. Maybe, maybe we'll be able to tell the difference. <laughs> but then we still maybe won't know. <laughs> I might should have uh, thought that one through a little bit better. I bet it'll all be good though. Dang, Jay, you're looking tan. I've look been at, at the beach. Look at you. <laughs> look at that color. Not even burnt. On the contrary, let me show you guys my tummy. You want oh, some of yeah. my tummy? Oh, you are so burnt. Here, show them this. this is I wore lots of sunscreen. This is like one of my most embarrassing moments because I don't ever get burnt. Can you see? I think so. You're going to see this. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sorry for like flashing y'all in the kitchen, but like, look at this. Can you see it? Yeah, it really doesn't look as bad as it did. Oh, gosh. Oh. There's a hoe, dear. There it is. Yeah. So, what had happened was while we were out catching the pompanos, we were chilling for a long time between bites. So I just took my shirt off, laid down there for a minute. Like literally, I laid down like in the direct sun, you know, for about 20 minutes. Got roasted, roasted so quick. But what's crazy is like, I don't know if you saw like my neck up here. <laughs> so oh, this yeah. side. Yeah, Jay put a little bit of sunscreen on my shoulders and it like leaked down on my neck. <laughs> Look at that. Cause you got burnt day one around your neck. I think it was just tan around my neck. It no, didn't it burn. was kind of burnt. And well, so I was like, you don't want to get like super burnt. Yeah, like, well, well, this is quite painful, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna molt like a crawfish whenever we get back. Probably it's just all oh, skin's probably gonna come off, so it's gonna be for nothing. My yeah, legs are really dark though. My legs are always really dark though. <laughs> but anyways, that's my update. Jay got tan, I got burnt, and that's just so random and weird because I'm already pretty dark. But yeah. Oh well, I'm just not used to that Florida heat. But let's check on these fish. Enough talking about my personal problems. Oh yeah. So this is the Everglades seasoning. Looks pretty good. I mean, all the locals are like, Everglades seasoning, Everglades seasoning. Saltwater merch like, use the Everglades seasoning. It's like, okay. We'll get some salt, we'll get, oh gosh. Oh yeah. And we hear about people on YouTube using uh, Everglades seasoning all the time too. So, hopefully this is the stuff they're talking about. Hopefully it's delicious. It looks delicious, my goodness. Little, little red fish and trout medley right here. So this is what we're left with. Here is our blackened piece of redfish, blackened piece of speckled trout. And then here is our plate, our little smorgasbord of fried fish. We have our redfish and trout. Under here, we have the two different seasonings. And then up here, this is all that Spanish mackerel. And like I said, I don't really know how it's gonna taste. To me, the meat looks better than these other pieces of meat, but these should be good for sure. But well, only time will tell with the Spanish mackerel. Which one are you most excited to eat? Mm, <laughs> the redfish. Redfish? Yeah. Redfish? Okay, so what we're gonna do, we'll get a fork. That's in half, so we can split that in half and we can eat. I'm pretty sure this is a redfish right here. That big chunk, that's definitely a redfish, so we'll split that. Yeah. Just so we know exactly what it tastes like. I like the way that looks. Do you want me to go ahead? Yeah, just do it. Just go for it. Just do it. Okay, I'm going for it. Woo! Looks a lot like striper. That's what I was thinking while I was cooking. It looks, a, I mean, dang near identical to striper the way it flakes apart. We should have made poor man's lobster with it. Oh, we could have. Probably catch another one. We're running out of time. We might get though. Mm. It's yummy. Mm-hmm. Does it taste like striper? No, but it has like the same. Same little feel. Texture, yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, while you're doing, oh, that's good. That's while really you're doing good. the taste test, go ahead and like, grab, I think that's that speckled trout right there, for sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll just put you on the spot. That way you can just let me know if it's any good or not. Okay. Before I ruin my taste buds. Hmm. The speckled trout is really good too. Does it taste different than redfish or do they taste about the same? Mm, it tastes a little different. Okay. But not much. I think time. I think we'll actually be able to tell the differences, the subtleties, whenever we eat those pieces, because that's all just fried. I did like the seasoning too. The Everglades. Mhm. Mm it looks lighter. Yeah, it is light. Okay, now mm. I'm really hungry. Okay, I'm gonna bust on into this right here. Looks done. Looks pretty tasty. Tastes like redfish. <laughs> Tastes literally like almost every redfish that I've ever eaten at a restaurant, but honestly probably better because it's more fresh. Mm. I mean, we caught that fish yesterday. Yeah. So good. That is really good. It looks really good. I like that better than the pompano. The pompano is good, but this is like more of like a full 
like bite of fish. Like pompano was really great, but that is really good. Let me get a little bite of the speckled trout. And we really didn't overdo it with seasoning either. You really taste the fish. Here we go, speckled trout. It really is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. But it's good. I like that. I, 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 like, I like that better than pompano. <laughs> Dang. Oh dang! I mean, I mean, it's not. I'm just not that experienced in like eating these fish, so I'm sure all the locals are probably like screaming. Because the guys around here, they are freaking out. They've been freaking out for like the last month about pompano. It's like all I've been thinking about. That is awesome. Love those two. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for the wild card really quick. This y'all have no, y'all haven't seen any of this. We went out and caught these mackerel, and um, yeah, they were so, we were, there were so many of them. They were so easy to catch, and I just didn't know. They kind of were smelly. They kind of remind me of shad, but. <laughs> I bet they're good. I mean, it's white meat. It's flaky. It's good, right? Well, let's find out. Here we go. <laughs> That's really good. Oh my Isn't gosh. It? Yeah. That's a, eat that. Here, you eat that. I'm going to get your reaction. That is so good. I'm not even kidding. Holy mackerel, that is good. <laughs> <laughs> that is really good. Is that the favorite? Is that, I don't know, that's like my favorite bite that I've had. be better than the other one. It's probably just because it's fried, but that's really good, right? Mm. I'm not just making that up. That's pretty good. And that, that one was actually in the Louisiana seasoning. Mm. But that is, that's good. I am, I'm stoked we have a whole bowl of that to take home. Which we need to eat it that's fresh. Good. Everyone says we need, we need to eat it pretty fresh. We don't want to freeze it. Mm. So you don't want to freeze it, so you have to eat oh, it fresh. Okay. So we're going to have to eat that. If we don't eat it here, we'll eat it at home, but that is Ooh. fabulous. Look at that. That is white and flaky. Mm -hmm. Well, I can honestly say that I was not expecting the mackerel to be that good. I, I was just kind of just like, you know, just a little fun thing we we're going to cook and try up. And I was going to be like, uh, it tastes like shad, but no, it really tastes so, so good. And I know people eat them all the time here. We're just, we're just newbies at this and haven't had them ever. And, you know, it's always kind of intimidating to eat a fish that you've never had before, especially whenever they kind of smell like a shad and kind of, <laughs> kind of smelly. But anyways, we've got a whole smorgasbord of fish to eat up here. We also have the fries about to be done. So we are going to conclude the video here and not let this fish cool off because you never know. It could cool off and be nasty, so we wouldn't eat it while it's hot. So we just want to say thank you so much for hanging out with us and watching this video. If y'all enjoyed it, do us a favor. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. We're, We're Colin J, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, Bye. guys.